Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Sim Shack and welcome back to me, Sim UK. I hope you're doing well. Hello, Robert. How are you today? I hope you're all right. Thank you for joining the stream. Um, if you haven't been watching, I'll just keep bringing you up to speed real quick. Uh, we took, um, we started our career unemployed and we ended up taking a job with Planet Lowe's, uh, a Welsh lower league division team. And, um, it's been it's been a struggle but we're currently in fifth and um last time we did a stream on this we had a good result and a terrible result so we lost three nil to buckley but we beat Portsmouth dog i think five one or something there we go five one so uh yeah the three nil defeat was a real kick in the teeth i didn't like that very much at all so we're, we're fighting i want to be able to finish in the top five this season 
and we could do it it is possible but you can see just from the points as they are at the moment we could also drop down to seventh uh without even playing a game so um it's a very difficult league that's very difficult indeed um we're gonna have to try and stay focused um based on the defeat we had last week i just had a little look at the tactics this is our default tactics here and it works quite well sometimes 5-1 is a good result um but up against teams that press really hard against us we don't seem to be able to break through so i was thinking about that and i was thinking that maybe uh i could do something about it so if I put Goodwin and Downs here in defensive midfield positions, um, as a support player, let's do that. And Goodwin as a ball winning uh, support player. Then we'll put Clarky Boy, who's absolutely fantastic, as a wide midfielder. Uh, in the support role as well quite like that and then zach evans who has been our best player for quite some time um we'll put him in an attack wing role type situation jonesy boy can be the advanced playmaker he can actually be a shadow striker let's do that i think that could work quite well and then bird obviously up front doing his thing but i don't want bird up front he's not that great a player um i think lance lee's the man for that particular job because he's he's very good at getting in um and beating defenders off the line so when we're in possession i want to pass into space and early crosses i guess play for set pieces run at defense be more expressive tempo slightly higher slightly more direct passing i think that would have helped us in the last game i feel like that's what we were missing somewhat uh so we've got that we've got that in the bag anyway it's a slightly different setup. It's very similar to what we've got now. It just brings them back a little bit more and punches the ball through the opposition's defence. That's the idea. That's the logic behind it. All right, we've got a week to recover. And I think we lost our goalkeeper in the last game as well, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, he's been playing really well. That's the... Uh... Let's have a look at the performance. Yeah, look at that. We just could not get into that game at all we got absolutely owned uh squad is there one here for injuries medical center uh there he is nick lee bulmer a light injury uh above average susceptibility it's on his arm so that's not too bad we've actually got quite a lot of injuries look at this or is this just is this injury risk assessment? Yeah, okay. Current injuries, that's what I'm looking for. So just the two then, that's much better. So he'll be back on the 6th of the 3rd. So it's not too bad. Um, and maybe that's why we lost 3-0. Maybe that's one of the reasons why we conceded three goals in that game. Because he does sort of organise the team quite a bit. Right, ah, so good news. Uh, the rest of the division have played, and we're still in fifth. We have maintained that position. That's really good for us. So we're still, we still... We could still get top three if uh, if we sort of tidy up our gameplay a smidge. Um, Clubs in Wales set to release youth players. Interesting. Cunningham is unhappy with Coney's loan agreement. Mould Alexandra manager Mike Cunningham was asked to hold a conversation with you to discuss the lack of first team football for Ryan Coney. He broke his leg, didn't he? 
Uh, where is he? Ryan Coney. Oh, as a central midfield player. Yeah, that is my fault. <laughs> See, that is my fault. I will sort that out. So we get Coney on the bench. I'd forgotten about him, truth be told. He's not really delivered, I don't think. Um, but anyway, let's. We, we're not really playing with a central midfield role, so I'm not entirely sure why I hired him. To be fair, to be totally fair. Um, right, Connor Bird cannot be our main dude. Oliver Lancelot is going to go up there. Um, let's look at tactics. So he's playing the poacher role. Perfect. All right. I just want him to get a couple of goals in. So Ryan Coney on the bench. Welcome back, Robert. How you doing? Just going over the current situation with the team. Things seem uh, a little quirky, to say the least. We need some more youth players. Pat Healy is the only 17-year-old we've got. Kenny Mills is too old to be considered under 19. So uh, I'm not sure if it's going to let me go with all these players. Just got to remind myself who these guys are. Reynolds, 28. Pace is 8. Marking's 8. Tackling, 12. He's not bad, is he? For us. Not bad at all. And Mills? Uh, oh, that's Kenny Mills. Kenny Mills. That's the 19-year-old I was just talking about. He's really not performing at all, Mr. Kenny Mills. Um... Healy, uh, he's a superstar. He really is a superstar. Um, right, okay. Let's go. Let's push. Gillsford, sixth place next. Big game for us. It's like a six-pointer. Lancelot's no longer concerned about position played in. That's good. Training schedule. That looks fine. I'm not going to start messing about with that. That's something I do off-camera. Um... Lots of emails. Weekly performance analysis. Oh, I forgot to look at that thing. Clubs in Wales set to release youth, youth players. Let's click on that. Let's have a look at these boys, shall we? Huh. Is there no way to send someone to... Review them all. So these boys are all going to get released. I just want to see if there's anyone there that's worth grabbing. Uh, let's get a scout report. Uh, we don't need a centre midfielder, actually. Maybe. Uh... Defensive centre, Ben Farley. Scout report. I wish I could just, like, tick a couple of them and hit scout at the bottom. That would be so much easier. Oh, a new goalkeeper would be quite nice for us as well. Midfielder, Ryan Oakley. And then another goalkeeper. Okay, good. A couple of players there to check out. Maybe something good will come of that. Maybe nothing will come of that. Who knows? 
We've had a chat with Adam Wharton, who has some comments to make about Richard Morgan's progression. He's declined. Richard Morgan, centre back. Okay. Okay. We just don't, we don't really have any good scouting facilities. We can't expect older players to continue to improve. Rufus Odea, look at this A minus. Is that one of the chaps that I just scouted? Let me just have a look here. Rufus Odea. No, it's not. Okay. This is just somebody that our scout chap has found. Rufus Odea. Okay. He's on £25 a week. We can't afford that. <laughs> he's already on the shortlist, so that's good. We'll keep him on the shortlist. Uh, he's got no contract. Ossian Dillon. 23-year-old winger, but he's also an attacking midfield player poor tackling very poor when it comes to marking an opponent well, that's okay if he's a good attacker oh look at that he's actually got some pace he's quite physical leadership is 12. i mean we've got no money but I'm not currently interested in entering into contract decisions with your club. Oh, he's just joined a new club. It says he's out of contract. No contract. I thought you said Rufus Odea. Rufus Odea, yeah. That's the other one. But yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what I heard in my head as well. And every time I was thinking every time he scores I could go, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Morfkan. Nice to see you here, buddy. Uh, right, let's push on. So many emails. It's crazy, this game. This is a really big game, this one. We want to finish top five. These are the games we have to win. Hey, Clark Penn's new one-year Clenidlow's deal. Fantastic. That's Georgie Clark out on the left wing, 26 years old. He does. He's our, he's our assist specialist right now. What we're lacking is a goal scorer, which is somewhat frustrating. In fact, having said that, I've just remembered I bought... A new striker, didn't I? Who's not really delivering, so to speak. Oliver Lancely is loaned in, but I actually bought a striker. Mawamku is one of our strikers. He should be better than he is, but he just doesn't deliver. Pills is a legend, but he's out at the moment. Gomez, he's a good right back, actually. I'm not sure why I'm not playing Sergio Gomez. What, why did I make that decision? What the hell was the name of my striker? It's built by strikers. We've got so many players. Jacob Barrett, there he is. Sub number five. He should be on the pitch. He's only 22. I suppose I can give him a bit of a break. He needs to start scoring soon. Our financial situation is so bad, I, I literally cannot hire anybody else. Not even for £5 a week. Rutter, removed from shortlift. Why? Not bad player. Well, physically he's not bad. He's an average player. What's he like in that role? He's not bad. He's, he's really not bad. He's on loan from Hollywell. Okay, fine.
Lewis Handley, 22. That's not one of the youth players either. That looks pretty good. Connor Bird, look at this, 4.8. What's going on, Connor? He's my mate. New role. Is he in a new role? Okay, well, that's boosted him up anyway. You're right, I've not been good enough, but I'll improve. I'm glad you understand. Keep working. Okay. So hard to get positive results when you speak to your team. It's always nice when it happens. Right, here we go then. I need to put all my faith in my new striker. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, unless we're getting pressed, in which case we'll swap back the other way around. So, Jacob Barrett in for Lance Lee. Lance Lee is the chap we bring in if we're getting absolutely squished and we can't get out of our own half. I'm going to speed up the gameplay a little bit as well because I think it's a little bit too slow. It took too long last week. Lee Bulmer resumes full training. That's great news. That is great news. That is great news. Carl Cooper, that's the player I loaned in that got injured. I remember now. I remember. Savage is our best free kick taker. I still don't have a corner taker or a free kick taker. It's a bit frustrating, really. Warming to move from balanced to cautious. So they don't think we're going to win here, but we're at home. We're fifth. We're ahead of them in the league. We have to win this game. Um, yeah. We're sticking with my squad. So we've got Barrett up front. He's 22 years old. He hasn't really delivered at all this season. Um, but we need him to start scoring goals. So he has to start playing, basically. Right, they're going to say I can't do this, aren't they? Yeah. I need two under-19s players. So how do I... Okay. Um, oh, actually, I could drop Bird. Put Coney in there. Do let's rock and roll. Richard Morgan is lacking in match sharpness and may struggle to see out the match. Uh, okay, well, we could put Bennett in that role because Bennett is kick ass. Uh, Reynolds is right back. Damn it. Adam Wharton is 36, but he's a hell of a player. Archie Bales is not with us at the moment. There's only really Bennett who can play in that role. I'm going to have to, to, have to stick with what we had. Bring Reynolds on. Oh, there's that. There's that association that I was looking for. Finally found it. Right, this might be, this might be good. A couple of happily players. Let's do this. We need a win today. Doesn't matter if it's 1-0. A win is a win is a win. Callum Harris, always press. Yes, do it. Wow. Okay, so we're really expecting to lose today. Um, I expect to see a much better performance from you today after that 3-0 defeat. A couple of the players are motivated. That's good to see. Is it televised, this one? Bloody hell. So they've lost one in their last five and drawn one. So we're not far off their form. Big game today. This is a huge game for us today. Let's see how we get on.
Right, there we go. Game on. Oh, great tackle from Reynolds. Clarky G, what can you do? That's a great cross in. That was nearly an opener right there. I think the game maybe is just swinging in our favour a little bit. So we, what we want is we want 80% um, pass completion and more of the possession than they have. At the moment, doesn't look like we're getting that. But... feels quite open I think maybe they've just got slightly there you go so we're taking control of the game now and that's brought the whole possession right back to an even keel but they seem to be uh, just coming straight down our middle which is strange because we've got two very good defensive midfielders so I'm not quite sure how they're pulling that off must have some very skillful players. But we look like we're taking control of the game a bit now. We've settled down. First corner. Not that we ever score from corners. Oh! <laughs> I take it all back. That was nearly a goal off the corner. And it was Bradford who got to it as well. There you go. The game has swung back into our favour already. really putting a foot wrong he's just not getting any opportunities on goal bloody hell clarky g yeah calm down mate i would say so we definitely have a bit of a problem in the middle of the pitch something's not quite working there getting some olays though So who is that bloke down the middle that's causing us all these problems? Is it Jenkins? I don't think it is Jenkins. Right, so at the moment we're being compressed in our own half. That was a total waste. What the hell was that rubbish? There he was. He won the header, but there was nobody there running onto the ball. Bloody, I was only 14 minutes in. I thought it was nearly half time. <laughs> it's going to be a long game, this. So far, they haven't got close enough to Evans to really test him, which is good. So don't mind holding on to the ball like this, but when we get into their half, we're just losing out every time. I'm wondering if we need to maybe push up a little bit. 